Hello, private driver. <laughs> She's taking us to the studio. Just parked the car. Today I'm working with uh, Jens. He's a chef working at a high-end restaurant called The Treetop. It's uh, located like one and a half hour from here. And I've been extremely excited to start up this project. I'm gonna do his full back piece. And it's been a while since I've done uh, large scale work from the, uh, like that. And uh, we're putting in great amount of details and it's coming out so dope. I'm gonna show you guys the design in a second. Uh, so yeah, I am pumped. And let's see what's gonna happen through the day. Here we have the design for Jens today. So this is like the overall sketch of the bag and I'm just making it already, stenciling up everything, getting everything ready to go. I've been like really looking forward to this project. It's like a mix up of all the elements that I normally use, the smoke, the church windows, uh, woman's face, statues. It's just a mix of everything good. So, and I've just been wanting to do a back piece for a long time, getting like a lot of back pieces in the book right now. It's amazing. But now let's put on the stencil.
the two and it's just nice having that Jens has the same background you know we both care about food we have dope chill conversations and it's just I always love talking to chefs because they're all so passionate and it just inspires you know so yeah we're just having a dope time chilling he's taking the pain really really well like it's his first tattoo it's crazy like doing a full back piece in the first tattoo two days in a row crazy kid what's up guys i'm here with jens we're getting pretty much into the uh church window cathedral window he's sitting like a rock pretty crazy to think about that this first tattoo um yeah so technically we're just approaching the very bottom layer it's the the dark shade behind the window and we're doing the textures for the middle layer and then we have the top layer so when i'm approaching a window like this i'm actually just dividing it into three pieces and then i can layer it like that and i think for a tattoo like this like the church window is just a pattern so we really want to make it simplified for it to look really nice and with those three layers it, it gets like easy visibly for the eye the layer of depth and it just looks really good really cool uh so it just acts as much as a pattern as an object check it out and do some blood lining, which are like lining up stuff very, very softly in a light shade so we can see it for next time. That's the mission we got to go for these two times. It's gonna be a six session piece, all in all. Did it hurt? I did a bit, yeah. <laughs> it's his first or two. What's up, man? We got to finish up this day. Jens had like a stone. He was like really, really good. I was very surprised. The back is so painful. Like when I had my back done, I was like crying, man. It's crazy. I think it's one of the worst places actually to get tattooed. But I don't guess it's not that many that feel that way, but definitely out of the back piece I've done, it's not a fun, fun spot for sure. So I was really, really stoked that he sat so well. Especially when people said, well, you can just like get in the zone and just when they're not moving, you can just like really do a lot in a short amount of time, which is really, really nice. And you can just flow into it. Oh. Jens asked me today, like a question that a lot of people ask me, like, especially when they finish, they're like, are you satisfied? And I have to tell them that every single time that no, I'm not satisfied because I've honestly never done a piece that I'm satisfied with. I can like, I can, I like my tattoos and I acknowledge them for what they are. And I think they are good tattoos. I know they're good tattoos because I'm a realist, but like my ambitions of where I want to go is just so far beyond anything that I'm even capable of touching right now. I guess capable of anything that I will be able to touch at any time in my life. So of course I always have to give the disappointment, disappointed as answer, which are, I love it. I think it's coming out great, but I'm not satisfied. And I think for anyone to be really good at what they do, especially in art, but I think it's honestly for anything you do, you have to be able to see your failures. And it comes down to just failing and failing and failing is just, failing is the only, re only way to learn. Like if you're doing anything correct, or as we say, perfect, which I don't believe in. I don't believe, believe in the term perfect. Then you're never going to learn, you know? If you think you're really, really good, you're not going to go to the next level. You have to really accept that you can grow every single day. 
Uh, so I run with that aspect and I, I embrace failing. I love when I fail. Like people are like, oh, I sucked. I did this and failed. It's like, I'll, I'll go back. I feel, I'll feel bad about it for sure. I feel bad about all my failures, but I'm really taking my time to process them and learn from them because that is what it is. We're, it's it's a learning process and that's how you should view it like you should just accept the level you're at and just enjoy the ride because this like life is a ride and it's not you, you you're not gonna reach the end goal in a day like a lot of people don't even reach the end goal because they can't keep up the ambition the mindset like just do goals which are like out of grasp like honestly like the best version of you is like the best goal because you can always be a better version of you you can always see because we're humans we're made to fail and especially our brain is making us fail like people think that if you if you solve this thing or you'll get rich or something like that like it will, the failures will stop the problems will stop but honestly like our brain is modified to create failure and problems in our life because our brain wants us to grow. It, they want us, it wants us to grow on a daily basis. And so you might have a problem and solving that will just give you another problem. But it, it will inject like dopamines, like honestly solving problems and solving failures is, if you ask me, the key to true happiness. Like that is that kick you get out of that solving those things and just evolving is just it's Im immeasurable like it, money can't pay it like I like that's on the top level of like family and those things that like truly gives you true happiness it's it's so important to understand that kicking down the doors breaking the failures is is key to a good life um yeah uh, so it's been a great great day i'm really looking forward to continue the the project tomorrow and uh see you good morning guys what's up fun fact you might know that I have two kids, uh, Ava and Atlas. My son is four and my daughter is one and a half. And this is the first night that I slept through the night for a very, very long time, which feels really dope. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yeah, today we are continuing second day on Jens. And uh, let's see how he does today. Like he sat really, really well yesterday. So I'm ex excited to see how he's gonna do today. I guess, especially like second day, it's very different. Like, of course, there's only three scenarios, but one of them is always chosen. Like, it could be the same, worse or better. Uh, and honestly, it's not always worse. People would think that second day is always worse, but I've tried having better second days and a lot of my clients also have better second days. I guess it just comes down to power, food, uh, mindset, just everything combined of how you're feeling on your second day. But let's see how Jens is going to do today. He did so good yesterday. I'm wearing the Yeezy 700 Orange Morin, I think would be the, the pronunciation of them. Though like, I think the soda would like speed up to keep up. <laughs> you better speed up to keep up. Yeah. And they only released in uh, Los Angeles, Paris and Tokyo. So I had to like, I had to get them online because I really wanted them like fire orange. Yeah, G'd up from the feet up. You better speed up to keep up. What's up, guys? What are you doing? It's me. Yeah, we're just doing her arm. What are you doing? A snake. Yes, she also made 
this on my leg. So one more snake for the collection. Uh, yeah. We've been doing cheekbones, like cheeks and all these big, big gradients. And I just moved into the eyes and I kind of like mapped it out. And now I just have to go like with small liners and make everything super tight to make sure that it looks really, really good. But first I build up in a big piece like that. We just like build up the mapping, like the overall shapes and types. And then I can go in with like small liners and add like hard structures and like textures and all these kind of things with it, which has like uh, more detail to it. What's up guys, I'm here with Dave, one of my favorites. Been my apprentice for three years, hey, almost, hey. almost three years, a little more than two. <laughs> and uh, he's working on something super awesome today, so you should check it out. So today I'm working on this piece, and following the muses, and some morph uh, down with a woman face. And uh, it's actually a painting by, uh, by Antonio Mora, that called Eos. And uh, I'm just uh, doing my own interpretation of it, with uh, some geometric patterns and some lettering and uh, a little bit of simple church window to like spice it up and uh, it has been a really ongoing project for a long time and i really spent a lot of sessions doing it because of all the small details up here so uh, i'm really excited to like finish it up today hey everybody uh, my name is Gilwood, and um, today i'm uh, doing uh, we're doing uh, the give wood kind of sleeve, yeah, 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 we call it that, so it's not saturated all the way around, it yeah, has some skin uh, in between. And, um, it's a different way of building all the sleeve, uh, but I really, really enjoy it. And, uh, I can get to make some small details and uh, make it all play together instead of making uh, one single tattoo on a person. And, um, here, so, sort of uh, sketch how we're doing it. Yeah. Hey guys, just finished up the tattoo and uh, I need to go now because I need to go get up the kits but you can see the result here and I'm uh, going to see you next time. Bye! So, that's it for today. I'm really happy with uh, the addition that we made. So we made, we made the heart here. Um, and the real sketch we actually put the heart inside here, but it makes more sense to have it here, so we have the straight line up here. And then um, we made some text here, uh, a word that Simon defined himself. <laughs> and uh, also a little bit of lettering in here. And then um, we're gonna continue already this Saturday. It's gonna be really cool. What's up guys? We finished up for these two days. We're actually already starting up again in a week. So it's going to be hardcore. Jens is doing four sessions on the back within a week. And it's his first to two. That's pretty fucking badass, right? Check it out. Just for today, and uh, I'm going to with some geometry and a little uh, chest render, and uh, we're going to continue on this side and this side with some smoke. Um, but thanks for, for watching, and uh, see you later. Day's over. I'm really stoked that we got to do this march. I'm pretty sure now that I can finish it in six sessions. 
and already in a week we're gonna continue with another two sessions i guess we will probably work on the sun clock at the bottom right and the smoke on the left bottom and then we'll work us up and work on the statues on the right side of the face and uh, yeah i'll be vlogging that as well so this is gonna be like a triple episode vlog uh, where you will see a full back piece come to life over free 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 independent vlogs like and each vlog is gonna cont uh, contain two days like this and uh yeah I, it's just it's awesome to to be in this project i've been wanting to do this for so long i was so stoked designing it i love doing back pieces and just somehow i'm just booking more back pieces now and i just i feel so good and like front pieces and stuff like that i love to do huge scale work it's just it's it's what makes me really tick there's nothing more, more fun when, than that in this art form i think that's for me like that i really love doing it the big strokes with like huge needles and yeah intense pieces like when we finish that piece you can see literally see from like half a kilometer away what it is it's gonna be so dynamic and um for you guys have an amazing time till we'll see you in the next episode I've, i'm really enjoying creating this for you guys